I have taken an old homemade log splitter that my dad fabricated about 30 years ago that ran off the PTO of our old Ford 8-in tractor and decided to attempt to redo some of it to make it a more efficient and safer unit to use on the old homestead. This old log splitter hasn't been used in about 10 years and even when fresh it was a death trap to work around all the exposed spinning parts plus its power left something to be desired. My dad used parts and steel from around the farm to fabricate his version and as I will do the same but I'll purchase some new parts to try and convert this old splitter into a self-contained unit using some lawnmower and automotive parts. I'll start off by stripping off the old PTO operated pump and the old lawnmower wheels. I'll retain the old frame, blade, and hydraulic cylinder and try to fabricate a unit that can easily be connected to and pulled by my four-wheeler or Ford tractor. Old Mopar spindles, hubs, and wheels will replace the old mower wheels. An old snapper riding mower will provide its 12 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton motor, part of the chassis, and miscellaneous other pieces, as you will see as this project progresses. Since I wanted to make this a portable and self-contained unit, I needed to do some research. So I spent several hours searching the net for ideas and advice. I have this vertical shaft 12 and a half horse Briggs and I found that a Haldex 16 gallon per minute pump would work fine along with a Prince detent valve. Of course I had to mate the Briggs engine to the pump and I found a Lovejoy coupling to fit the bill. All of the parts were found along with the reservoir tank, filter, and hoses at my local Northern Tool and Hydraulic store. Fabricating the snapper chassis to the old splitter frame was a challenge, but with some good old country boy ingenuity, it came together with only a few minor glitches. Old angle and plate steel provided the mounting hardware for the chassis and the framework for mounting the Haldex pump. Getting everything straight, level, and in line with the engine crankshaft was not as difficult as I had thought it might be. My welder, which was a 40 plus year old unit, gave up the ghost in mid-project, so a trip to the local Lowe's provided me with a new Lincoln Tombstone AC225 stick welder, which was great and it completed the job despite my lack of welding skills. I managed to mount the fluid reservoir tank, filter, hoses, and detent valve to the frame and used more snapper parts to mount the battery, throttle, electronics, and gas tank. Following the initial build and prior to making further refinements, I felt it would be a good idea to check to see if the splitter did the basic splitter functions. bled the lines, then split a few pieces of cut the length logs. So far, so good. Now back to the shop to complete the job. Refinement to the splitter blade, push plate, and adjustable trailer hitch coupling finished out this log splitter project, and when the weather turns warmer, a paint job will be in order. I now have a functional and safe log splitter that fits my needs and I have the satisfaction of knowing that even though my eyes are not as sharp, my hands are not as steady as they once were, my blacksmithing skills are still there. Hope you enjoyed my video and hope it may help with your ideas on your project. And thanks for watching.